It started as a joyous New Orleans Sunday afternoon in the Ninth Ward. The Ninth Ward is a place where we can go and celebrate. Everybody was having, having fun, having, doing things, you know? Everybody was giving the all, having fun. But Darren A. Wilford says that energy didn't continue into the evening. And that night you want to listen to music, dance, have fun. Not, not have your body covered in blood. Not, not having to pump somebody's chest, praying to God that they wish they was alive. In my head, I'm praying, I'm like, God, keep her alive. God, keep her alive for me. Just, just I'm asking you, my God, please put the, put the blood over her, my God. And I don't talk to God a lot. But today, I, I was just, I was calling on him. Please, my Lord, please. Favor. That's all I ask. According to the Metropolitan Crime Commission, there have been 204 homicides this year and 336 shootings. The Crime Commission says this year, 32 victims of homicides have been under the age of 18. And that number has increased from this time last year when 24 victims of homicides were under the age of 18. Witnesses of Sunday night shootings say it shouldn't be like that. You lose your life on the most vulnerable years of your life. NOPD says there are multiple suspects in this shooting. Seventeen-year-old Layla Scott was a lovable and cheerful young girl who attended Hanville High School in Butte, Louisiana. Going to church, shopping, and vacationing were just a few of the things that she loved to do in her spare time. In fact, Layla was looking forward to her upcoming vacation to New Orleans with friends. Never could those close to Layla have imagined that a simple good time with friends would unexpectedly turn tragic. Shortly after 7 p.m. on November 19th, NOPD responded to the corner of North Claiborne and Esplanade Avenues to a local gas station for reports of a shooting. Upon arrival, they were located an unresponsive teen girl and an adult male. Two people are dead after a shooting in Treme tonight. It happened at the corner of Esplanade and North Claiborne. NOPD says it was reported a little after 7 o'clock and one of the victims died before he could be taken to the hospital. The other died sometime after being transported. Both were adults. No information about any possible suspects have been released at this time. The victims were identified as 17-year-old Layla Scott and 24-year-old Amante Wisham, who were both sadly pronounced dead at the scene. Surveillance footage shows two people standing and talking, while two other individuals came from around the corner, pulled out a gun, and began shooting. According to Layla's father, she was visiting New Orleans with friends. Around 7.30 p.m., Layla phoned her father requesting that he cash out her $10 for a drink. Just moments later, she walked over to the area where 24-year-old Demonte Wisham was standing when the two were gunned down in the parking lot by unknown shooters. Minutes after the shooting, Videos highlighting the chaotic aftermath began circulating across social media, showing an individual performing CPR on the team. According to the Good Samaritan, who says Layla still had a pulse and heartbeat, she described the scene as horrifying, including the common act of individuals standing around recording the madness. The family is pleading with people to stop sending them the images and sharing videos of her death on social media. I'm so sorry to send it to the sir. She wasn't nothing but a baby. A life cut short. NOPD confirms a 17-year-old girl was one of the two people shot and killed shortly after 7 o'clock at the corner of North Claiborne and Esplanade Avenue Sunday. I got chills. Right now, I have chills just thinking about it. As a mother, I don't know how her mother or these kids' mothers and fathers are handling this. Minutes after the shooting, videos started to circulate across social media showing someone giving the teen CPR. That person was Darrene Wilford. She had a pose. I felt her pose. I heard her beat. Everybody just recorded. Wilford tells me she was standing across the street when her friend told her that two people were lying on the ground covered in blood lifeless. 19-year-old Darren A became CPR certified back in high school at West Jeff and decided to put what she learned into action. That's somebody's child. You don't want your child like that. Nobody wants their child like that. I see myself in her because I'll be young. While giving CPR, Darren A tells me her purse was stolen. 
with her money, iPhone, and personal possessions. But despite that, she would give it all up again to see the young girl live to see another day. It's not even about the purse. It's not about the phone. The only, the only thing I really wish I could get back is her life. Both of them if I could. Friends and family gathered for a vigil at Layla's family home in honor of her memory. Her family is pleading with anyone who may have captured evidence on footage to contact police. The family says a memorial scholarship will soon be started in Layla Scott's name to benefit her fellow Hanville High classmates. A grieving family is desperate for users to stop sharing videos of their teenagers shooting death in New Orleans on social media. At a vigil for 17-year-old Layla Scott, that family thanked a bystander who tried saving her life. called me and told me that my baby was in the hospital and all I could do is pray. A mother's heart breaks for her only daughter, one of two people shot to death at a Treme gas station on South Claiborne and Esplanade last Sunday night. She was a church going little girl. She went to school. She likes to vacation. She likes to shop. She was a, a lovable, cheerful person. God, the father and the mother need you like never before. Layla Scott was a senior at Hanville High School. Her parents say she was visiting the city with friends last weekend, and her father says he spoke to the teen around 7.30. That was just moments before she walked over to 24-year-old Amante Wisham, and the two were gunned down in the parking lot by an unknown shooter. Layla called me and Layla said, Dad, you going to catch up me $10? I'm about to go in the store and get something to drink. It looked like soon as she got on the phone, she walked across the parking lot. And that's when it happened. All these people are here to support her. All these people, are, she she put a smile on someone's face other than mine. You know, I'm, it got me feeling like feeling like I'm in a movie almost because she was Mike Miller's superstar. That was that was all I. That was my motivation in life. That was everything for me. Videos circulating on social media show the chaotic aftermath of the shooting, including witnesses attempting to perform CPR on Layla Scott. The family is begging people to stop sending them the images. That's something you would never want to see. And I'm just imploring our youth of today to just put the phone down and help. I want to thank that young lady that did try to help her. She did try all her might. She did try all her might. That bystander came to Sunday's vigil in Bouti to pray with the family. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she hugged Layla Scott's family and cried. <laughs> she kept her hands free. <laughs> she told her, come on, pretty girl, you got this. <laughs> Scott's mother shares a final plea for any witnesses to her daughter's death. And if you got that phone up and you have any type of pictures, videos, or anything that went on, because y'all got them, y'all flashing them all over social media. Turn them in. Although this channel solely focuses on the tragedies of black women and girls, I thought it was important to take a moment to share a bit about the second victim, who was also hanging out with friends the night of the shooting. He was an outgoing and kind person, but most importantly, an amazing father to a baby girl. As she reflects on the loss of her son, his heartbroken mother says, Although Amante is physically gone, spiritually, his lovable case remains ongoing. 